All right, in this video, let's see how to set up a basic Express server that can receive form data. I'm going to create a new folder called server, which contains the server code. Here, I'm going to initialize a new package JSON file. So right click, open in command prompt, and run the command npm init dash dash yes. Next, let's install the dependencies. npm install dash dash save express body parser and course. Express is our web server. Body parser is the middleware to handle form data and course is a package to make requests across different ports. Now that the dependencies are installed in the server folder, create a new file and name it server.js. Within this file, we begin by requiring the packages that we have just installed, express, body parser, and course. Next, let's create a constant for the port number that our express server will run on. So const port is equal to 3000. Now we create an instance of express. Const app is equal to express. We also specify body parser to handle JSON data. app.use body parser dot JSON. And we also need to use the course package, app.use, course. Next, let's add code to test a get request. app.get to the root, a callback function. You get access to request and response in the body response.send hello from server. Finally, we listen to requests on the specified port. app.listen on port 3000 and then a callback function that logs to the console server is running on localhost port 3000. So our basic express server is now ready. Let's start it up. In the terminal, navigate inside the server folder and run the command node server. You should see the message server running on localhost port 3000, which implies the express server is up and ready for requests. So we can go back to the browser, make a request to localhost port 3000, and we should see the message hello from server, the output corresponding to the get request. All right, so our express server is now working. Next, let's add an endpoint to which our Angular application will post the form data to. So app.post, the endpoint is slash enroll. We have a callback function, request, response. Within the function, we simply log to the console, request.body. The request body contains the user data that was submitted by the Angular application. And then we send a response. So response.status of 200.send an object that contains a message data received. All right, now that we have an endpoint, let's go back to our Angular application and update the URL. So this is going to be HTTP localhost port 3000 slash enroll. Now restart the server. So control C and then node server. Go back to the browser, select a topic and click on submit. You can see the response in the console success and the message is data received. And when I go back to the terminal in VS Code, you can see that the user object is being logged. The data has been posted to the server from our Angular application. All right, let's add a final touch to the form submission. 
Currently, when our form is submitted, we don't get any indication that the data is in fact submitted. Also, it is advisable to disable or hide the submit button once it has been clicked. That is because it might cause serious problems when making payments or checking out on e-commerce sites, for example. So for our application, when the form is submitted, we simply hide the entire form. That gives an appearance of the form being submitted as well. So let's go back to VS Code. In app.component.ts, I'm going to add a new property, submitted, and this is going to be set to false initially. And in the onSubmit method, we set it to true. This dot submitted is equal to true. And finally, in the HTML, to the form tag, we are going to add the condition ng if not submitted. So only show the form if it has not been submitted. Now when I save this, go back to the browser, select a topic and click on submit form button, the form disappears. Not the best indication, but I will leave this to your imagination. All right then, we have successfully posted our form data to the server. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.